Carnegie Mellon University for several years has been involved in a number of international programs, uh, delivering education, doing research uh, in many locations throughout the world. Your Excellency, the Smart Africa Scholarship Fund has been established and I'm happy to report that seven young Africans who are pursuing their master's degree in uh, Carnegie Mellon University today are recipients of that scholarship. Carnegie Mellon is fully committed to boosting Africa's capacity to transform the digital divide into a digital opportunity. We are equally committed to making digital inclusion for women a top priority. One of our PhD students at Carnegie Mellon, using the data of cellular phone, was able to demonstrate that malaria was actually moving with people from one location where there was malaria to another location where there was not, just by analyzing the data of the movement of cellular phones of 15 million people in Kenya for one year. So I think there has to be uh, a harmonization of policies and strategies of how do we actually educate the next generation of youth. This luncheon and this panel has been sponsored by CMU. Things talk to other things. Machines talk to other machines without humans in the loop, or humans can be in the loop. My phone can be notified if something happens in my home. Things don't just observe and monitor the physical world, but they can change the physical world. What is the Internet of Things? It's a buzzword, that's the skeptic's point. The other side of the coin is, the Internet of Things is going to be as profound as a PC, the mobile phone, and the Internet.